This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at how to deduce the charge on a central metal ion. So we'll start the video with a review of complex ions and coordination compounds. On the left, we have a complex ion, which consists of a central metal ion bonded to ligands by coordinate covalent bonds. The charge on a complex ion is determined by the charge on the central metal ion and the charges of the ligands. A coordination compound consists of a complex ion bonded to counter ions. The counter ions balance the charge on the complex ion. Therefore, coordination compounds are neutral. Next, we look at some common ions formed by transition elements together with their oxidation states. It's worth noting that the Roman numerals after the name of the ion refer to the oxidation number of the ion. In this video, I'll be referring to the oxidation state, which can also be the oxidation number. So starting with chromium, which can form the chromium 2 ion with a 2 plus charge and the chromium 3 ion with a 3 plus charge. The oxidation states or oxidation numbers are plus 2 and plus 3 respectively. Next is cobalt, which can form the cobalt 2 ion and the cobalt 3 ion. The cobalt 2 ion has a 2 plus charge and the cobalt 3 ion has a 3 plus charge. And the oxidation states or oxidation numbers are plus 2 and plus 3. Next is copper, which can form the copper 1 and copper 2 ions. The copper 1 ion has a 1 plus charge and the copper 2 ion a 2 plus charge. And the oxidation states or oxidation numbers are plus 1 and plus 2. Next is iron, which can form the iron 2 ion and the iron 3 ion. The iron 2 ion has a 2 plus charge and the iron 3 ion has a 3 plus charge, with oxidation states or oxidation numbers of plus 2 and plus 3. And finally we have nickel, which forms the nickel 2 ion with a 2 plus charge. Its oxidation state or oxidation number is plus 2. So from this table, we can see that the charges on the ions are the same as the oxidation states. However, it's important to note that the charge on the ion is written as 2 plus, but the oxidation state or oxidation number is written as plus 2. So we'll start by looking at complex ions. In this complex ion, the central metal ion is a copper ion. The ligands are six ammonia molecules and the charge on the complex ion is 2 plus. If the ligands are neutral, the charge on the complex ion is the same as the charge on the central metal ion. So in this example, we have six neutral ligands bonded to the central metal ion. Ammonia molecules are neutral, so the central metal ion is the copper 2 plus ion, which has an oxidation state of plus 2. So to summarize, if all the ligands are neutral molecules, the charge on the central metal ion is the same as the charge on the complex ion. In our next example, the central metal ion is cobalt and the ligands are four ammonia molecules and two chloride ions. And the charge on the complex ion is one plus. So if the ligands are negatively charged, we need to subtract the total charge of the ligands from the charge of the complex ion. In this complex ion, we have two negatively charged chloride ions, which gives us a total charge on the ligands of two negative. If we subtract the total charge of the ligands from the charge on the complex ion, we can determine that the central metal ion is the cobalt three plus ion, which has an oxidation state of plus three. So next we look at some more examples. In the complex ion on the left, the central metal ion is an iron ion. The ligands are two hydroxide ions and four water molecules. The charge on the complex ion is one plus. Hydroxide ions are negatively charged, so the total charge on the ligands is two negative. So if we subtract the total charge on the ligands from the charge on the complex ion, we can determine that the central metal ion is the Fe3 plus ion, and the oxidation state is plus three. In our next example, the central metal ion is a chromium ion. The ligands are four ammonia molecules and two chloride ions. 
Chloride ions are negatively charged, so the total charge on the ligands is 2 negative. If we subtract the total charge on the ligands from the charge on the complex ion, we can determine that the charge on the central metal ion is 3 plus, and the oxidation state is plus 3. In the last example on the right, the central metal ion is a nickel ion. The charge on the complex ion is 2 negative. The ligands are 4 cyanide ions. Cyanide ions are negatively charged, so the total charge on the ligands is 4 negative. If we subtract the total charge on the ligands from the charge on the complex ion, we can determine that the charge on the nickel ion is 2 plus, and the oxidation state is plus 2. The last examples we look at are coordination compounds. To determine the charge on the complex ion, we need to consider the charges of the counter ions. The example on the left has three chloride ions which are negatively charged. This means the charge on the complex ion is 3 plus. The central metal ion is a cobalt ion, and the ligands are six ammonia molecules. Ammonia molecules are neutral, therefore the charge on the central metal ion is the same as the charge on the complex ion. Therefore, the central metal ion is the cobalt 3 plus ion, which has an oxidation state of plus 3. In the example on the right, the counter ions are 3 potassium ions, which have a charge of 1 plus. This tells us that the charge on the complex ion is 3 negative. The central metal ion is an iron ion, and the ligands are 6 cyanide ions. Cyanide ions have a charge of 1 negative. There are 6 of them, so the total charge is 6 negative. If we subtract the total charge on the ligands from the charge on the complex ion, we can determine that the charge on the iron ion is 3 plus, and the oxidation state is plus 3.